me um, because you spend time a lot sitting down. Um, we'll be doing chair yoga tonight and how to integrate this into your day so that right after this um, 60 or less minute class, uh, you'll be able to practice right away. Okay, What is yoga? It's simply an ancient practice that involves mindful breathing, movement of the body, mental focus, and discipline. And so that means when it's time to do yoga, it may or may not be physical movement. It can just be sitting down, closing your eyes, and taking deep breaths. That's already yoga. Why? Because yoga in Sanskrit means union. So this means when we practice yoga, it's not just about having a yoga mat and you know having yoga pants and playing meditation music. It can be just becoming one with peace, love, joy, sleep, abundance, or just the feeling that all is well. And historically, yoga's roots come from northern India more than 5,000 years ago. We know that in India, meditation was practiced widely. And so back then, when the teachers or the gurus taught yoga, it was really more of a weaving of meditation, well-being, uh, alertness, mindfulness, and exercise. So with yoga, the focus is to unify and align your body, your mind, your heart, and spirit. And when we think about illness, when we think about stress, especially now in the pandemic, when we think about it, it's not just about your immune system. It's also about the worries that may keep you up at night or um, the niggling doubts about the future, the uncertainty of everything. It can be just missing people, missing hugs, or it can be simply needing to be grateful for what you have, where you are, and what you've been through. And that's what yoga gives for you that there is a chance, an opportunity for you to choose, to align how you want to feel, how you're moving, and how you're breathing. Now, in the present times, when you look at yoga classes, it's usually for strength, flex uh, flexibility, building muscle, strength, and so on. Uh, and it's mostly exercise and breath regulation. But the way I teach it, um, as you'll see in the next few moments, is an interweaving of all parts of your health. So we'll focus on breath to help you relax. We'll focus on stretches, of course. And we'll also focus on you, however you want to feel tonight and in the next few days. Okay, so there are many kinds of yoga. There is um, Hatha yoga, there's Kundalini yoga, so many kinds, so many types. But what we're going to focus on tonight is something very practical for you because you spend a lot of time on Zoom classes like these or um, looking at your gadgets, um, typing on a keyboard, and so on. So we're going to practice yoga on your chair or chair yoga. Chair yoga involves modified yoga poses so that they can be done while seated in a chair. This will help you reset and refocus during your online activities. And it's very simple and yet powerful for you. All you need is a chair and your body. You don't need a mat like on the photo, but if you want to have a mat um, while practicing, then by all means. Yoga on your chair, as you'll see in a few minutes, will just entail a few mindful stretches that wake up your body. But in this case, will also relax your body as well right after this session. What are the minimum benefits that you'll get for tonight? And also in every class that you'll take, should you wish to practice yoga, the minimum is flexibility, strength, and a stronger immune system. We won't focus on strength tonight because if we do, you, you guys will emerge from this class more awake and more alert and we want to help you sleep, right? Okay, number two. This is the most common thing that I see in people with in people who attend classes with me, that they feel better and they sleep better. And whatever the chronic pain, the repetitive 
neck pain, the repetitive hip pain, it's reduced. So the invitation for you is to, again, listen to how your body feels. Is it more of a physical pain, maybe emotional heaviness? And let's work on that tonight. Number three, it increases overall well-being and peace of mind because yoga teaches you to choose actively what to focus on, to choose actively what to be grateful for. And number four, it helps manage emotional eating and addictions. So how many of us in the room resort to eating more because of the pandemic or because of the lockdown? I myself am guilty of that. And it's common. It's common to um, find some sort of comfort. There's nothing wrong with that. But when it gets out of hand, then yoga can help you return to balance of what you take in to nourish yourself. And again, I'll ask you to pause and ask yourself that question. What are you taking in to help you nourish yourself? It may be a food. What was the what was your dinner? What's your lunch? But more than food, what have your thoughts been? Are they nourishing yourself? How has your environment, your support system been? Are they nurturing? Are they nourishing? Have you been drinking enough water? So these are all just questions to ask yourself and to think about. Um, how are you caring for yourself right here, right now? So as we start the class, and even outside of this class, there are just three simple and yet very, very helpful tricks, tips and tricks that will help you. Number one, breathe. If there's anything that you'll do in a yoga class, it's just to breathe. If there's anything you'll do outside of a yoga class, it's also to breathe. And I invite you to do that with me, even if you're on mute, try this. Sit up straight, lengthen your spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, open your mouth. <sighs> Try that again. Twice more. Inhale. Exhale, open your mouth. <sighs> One more time. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> okay, so just notice how you feel. And when we take deep breaths like that, maybe deep cleansing breaths like that, or just a little bit more deep, a little bit more mindful breathing, your body changes. When you breathe in, literally, you breathe in more oxygen, more oxygen, which means your body gets nourished. But what we don't see is when you breathe and connect to how you want to feel, you turn on this system that allows you to listen more. Listen more to how you feel. Listen more to the conversation that's happening. Or just listen to what's not being said. And so on. So breathing helps you return to your inner center. Number two, uh, the second tip or trick is to listen to your body. And this is key for so many people to stay healthy. Why? Because the body does not know how to lie. And I'll repeat that. The body does not know how to lie. That's why there are sciences or studies called um, psychosomatic um, studies or uh, body language, right? People study body language because it shows how we feel. It shows in our body what needs to heal and what is also going well. So listen to your body all the time. If your shoulders hurt, give yourself a massage. If your shoulders continue to hurt, what is it that you continue to carry? What is it that you may be burdening yourself? If you feel lighter when you're thinking about something or someone, then stay there. Stay in that vibe of gratitude. So listen to your body. And the third, make it your practice. So as we'll stretch later, you'll notice that you have um, maybe more flexibility on one side and less flexibility on the other side. But yoga is a practice. It's not about how well you can do the pose. It's about how you do the pose. So make it your practice, meaning there is no ending. There is no 
beginning, you are already practicing yoga just by breathing, just by listening to your body, and then continue to practice. Okay, so I'll stop share. Any questions so far? Questions, violent reactions? Feel free to type in the chat or unmute yourself. Anyone? Going once, going twice. Okay, if we're good, good. I'll set aside my laptop and I invite you to just sit. Okay, sit. And then when you're ready, bring your hands by your sides. And what we're going to do is just a few simple stretches that you can do on your own. Whenever you're doing Zoom, before you do a meeting, right after you do a meeting, hands by your sides. Inhale, reach your arms to the sides and up. Look up if it doesn't hurt the neck. And then exhale, release your hands. Simple movements. We'll do this slowly. Inhale, reach your arms to the sides and up. And if you feel playful, imagine you're gathering good energy. Exhale, imagine you are releasing any stress, releasing the tension. Your thoughts matter. One more time. Inhale, maybe close your eyes, reach your arms up, gather good energy, gather the peace. And exhale, release. Release what you no longer need. Time for a good night's rest. Last two. Inhale, reach your arms to side and up, gather abundance, abundance of all good. And exhale, release as if you are smoothing out your thoughts, your feelings. Last round, give it your best. Inhale, keep breathing, reaching your arms out. And then exhale, release. Okay, wonderful. Okay, tapos na. Just kidding. <laughs> so bring your hands by your sides. One more time, reach your arms to sides and up. But this time, please clasp your fingers. Okay, clasp your fingers, reach your arms up. Good. Inhale, look up. And exhale, arms parallel to the ground, round your back. Good, round the back, everyone. Nice, good. What you want to do is to stretch the back body. So keep breathing here. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Gaze towards your thighs or the floor. One more time, inhale, reach your arms forward and up, look up. If it doesn't hurt the neck, stretch the front body, gazing up. Keep breathing. And then arms parallel to the ground, round your back. Really stretch the back body because we tend to slouch a lot when we are in front of the gadgets, in front of the laptop, and so on. Okay, we'll do this one more time. Inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Gazing up as if you're stretching towards the stars. Limitless possibilities. Exhale, arms paddled out to the ground, round the back, preparing for a good night's sleep. Okay, listen carefully, reach your arms forward and up. Good. Bring your right hand to the side of your chair. You're going to hold the side of the chair. Reach up with your left hand, inhale. And then exhale, just take a side stretch. Again, listen to your body. Notice if you're going overboard. But if you can, maybe deepen the stretch a bit. See how that feels. Maybe gaze down. And just notice it should be the side body that's lengthening. Relax the shoulder away from the ear. One more breath here. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Inhale both arms up. Other side. Exhale, release your left hand. Grasp the side of the chair for balance. Inhale to reach up and exhale, side stretch. And maybe closing your eyes or gazing down, whichever feels good. Relax the shoulder away from the ear. And again, notice if you can deepen the stretch. Lengthening first, inhale and exhale. Try to deepen, just see how far you can go. No forcing the body. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, prepare for a twist. Place your left hand on the right knee. And then place your right hand behind you. Okay. Inhale to lengthen the spine. 
and exhale, go ahead and twist. Move from the belly first, followed by the shoulders, and the head comes in last. Gaze towards the back of the room or gaze towards your shoulder. Relax both shoulders, everyone. And even if you can't see the camera, that's okay. If you're getting distracted, focus on the side body, twisting. Okay, inhale to look forward. And exhale, other side. Right hand on the left knee, left hand behind you, grasping your chair. Inhale to lengthen first. And exhale, go ahead, twist. Good. You want to feel it on the side body, everyone. Okay? So we don't do this very often because we're sitting down a lot. Maybe gaze towards the back of the room or gaze towards your shoulder. What you want to do is to release any tension here. And when you do these twists, you also squeeze the internal organs, detoxify it. Inhale here, look forward, and exhale. Okay, how are you feeling? Checking you guys, okay so far? Wonderful, good, good, good. Okay, so this time what we're going to do is we're going to roll the shoulders forward, upward and back, simple enough. Thank you, teacher, Yessie. One more time. And then I'm going to ask you to give yourself extra, extra self-care, extra self-love through a head massage. So think raindrops with your fingers. Bring your hands on top of your head and then just tap. Tap lightly like raindrops. Maybe intensify. Okay, maybe a little bit harder, your choice. And then tap freely. Tap to the side, tap to the back. Feel free to close your eyes. And notice where in your head, maybe on your forehead, you want to tap. And think of this as self-care. Maybe a simple way to relax, but whether you are aware of it or not, you are stimulating the nerve endings here on the top of your head and in your forehead. And in traditional Chinese medicine, when you do this acupressure, you are stimulating relaxation, an open mind, and mental focus. So if you need clarity, just do this. Raindrops on your head and on your forehead. Okay, one more breath here. And exhale. This time I'm going to ask you to form an L, like a high five. And then you're going to scoop the back of your head with that L and then massage the back of your neck. So look for the hollow spots just underneath your skull. And then just give yourself a massage. Okay, and make it freestyle. You can close your eyes, massage your neck, and then go a little bit lower, maybe following your spine. And let's take 10 breaths here. So I'll count for you. You can close your eyes and then just massage on your own. If your eyes are open, close your eyes because it's time to listen to your body. Go ahead, keep going. Keep going. Close your eyes and listen to how you feel. Notice any parts that might feel tense or tight. Maybe massage the shoulders as well. Moving to the shoulders. Maybe the upper back. Maybe even your arms. Okay, one more round. One more breath. And then exhale. Okay, we're almost ready to sleep. <laughs> when you're ready, Naman, last three poses. So this time, we've worked on the upper body. We're now going to work on the lower body because we don't use our legs a lot if we're sitting down a lot. So what you're going to do is you're going to form a figure four or in Filipino, the cuatro. I'm going to nudge my chair a bit so you can see going to cross my legs like this, the cuatro. Yes, possible? Great. Okay. And then what you're going to do is simply bend forward. 
So you might feel already a stretch deep in the right buttock or the left side, whichever side you're doing. Now, for women, women have more um, open hips. So if you can, maybe move forward a bit more and you'll really feel the stretch there. Some men also have flexible hips. So just notice where you are. For some people, it can be as high as this. For others, it can be lower. And just notice how you feel. Okay, Flex your ankle. Point your toes towards the camera. Just to also wake up the ankle joint. Good. One more breath here. And exhale. Release. Uncross your legs. Other side. And you'll notice one side will be more flexible or more open, more loose than the other. So when you're ready, lengthen the spine first, inhale, and then exhale, bend forward. And again, you feel the stretch deep in the buttock, right side or left side, whichever side you're doing. And again, notice if there is space too deep in the pose. So inhale to lengthen first, and then exhale, maybe bend forward a bit more. Notice how you feel. Okay, good. And this is very good, not just for strength of your body, but also when you do this, whether you are aware of it or not, the hips carry your repressed feelings. And I'll repeat that. Your hips carry your repressed feelings. So you're holding on to a lot of anger or a lot of sadness, the hips carry it. So by doing this, you are releasing. Okay, release, come up, and then uncross your legs. Okay, this time we're going to stand up. Go ahead and stand up. And then I'll move my chair sideways. You don't have to move your chair sideways, but I will so that you can see me clearly. And what I'll do is I'll just grasp the side of the chair. And then move your feet backwards, step back a bit. Inhale first. And then exhale, simply bend forward, like a letter L. Okay. So what you want to feel now is a stretch on the back of the legs or your hamstrings. You can stay here, option one. Option two, you can deepen the post by dropping your head forward, pressing your chest down to the floor. Make sure there is no pain in the lower back. Make sure there is no pain on the shoulders. If there is any sharp pain, please back off right away. Okay, bend your knees a lot. Inhale, look up. And then exhale one more time. Straighten your knees, but not too much. Bend forward. And if you can, press your chest down towards the ground. Relax the head. We'll stay here for five more breaths. So feel the stretch at the back of the legs. Feel the stretch on your shoulders. Three more breaths. Keep breathing, everyone. Do not hold your breath. Last full breath. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, when you're ready, bend your knees a lot. Come up. And then exhale, come back. Hey, how are you? Are you good? All good? Great. Okay. Last pose is called Shavasana. If you've ever taken a yoga class, the last pose is where we lie down. But we won't lie down because I'll let you lie down after you finish this class. What we're going to do is we're just going to sit down. Okay. Shavasana means corpse. So literally, there's a part of the yoga class where we talk about um, transitioning, transitioning to whatever is next for you. So here, we're just going to sit and relax, and I'll guide you through a meditation to help you end your day and to help you begin your day tomorrow with joy, ease, and peace. Okay? So before we do that, I invite you to think about one word, maybe two or three maximum, one to three words of how you want to feel or what you want to bring into your life more. Meron ba love? <laughs> A 
sige, so if, if it's not love, maybe peace, maybe well-being, maybe um, joy. So what do you want for your life? Think about that. Three simple words. And if words don't work for you, even just a, a, a symbol, a symbol of a heart, a symbol of a star, and so on. When you're ready, sit back, lean back. Place your hands on top of your thighs, palms up in a gesture of receiving, receiving from God, receiving from the universe, what it is that you are asking for. You can close your eyes now, taking deep breaths. Inhale deeply and exhale completely. And keep taking deep breaths until you feel more relaxed and more at peace. I invite you now to bring one hand on your heart and your other hand on your stomach, splayed across the belly. And as you do this, just breathe. And as you breathe, listen to your body. How are you feeling right now? And then think about your intentions. What are the one or two or three words that you want to expand in your life? Breathe it in. And I'm asking you to breathe it in because all the thoughts you think are powerful, whether you are aware of it or not. And it's called intention. So when you bring intention into a word or a feeling, you are bringing power, you are bringing energy to that direction. So in the next few moments of peace and quiet, I invite you to simply breathe in your intentions. Breathe in peace and strength. Breathe in clarity or whatever it is you need. A few breaths here. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And I invite you now to ask yourself, is there anything getting in the way of your intentions? Any thoughts you continue to think? Anything else you need to release? I invite you to start releasing it inside your mind and deep in your heart. Use your breath, inhaling. Inviting in, release, forgiveness, letting go. Exhale, decide. Decide to be happy now. Choose your intentions completely. Inhale, to release. Exhale, choose your intentions completely. And now note how you feel with your hands on your heart and on your belly. These symbolize that you take care of yourself first. That you care for yourself first. Inhale here. And exhale. I invite you to press your hands together in front of your heart. And as you do this, Prayer gesture, lift it up to God. Lift it up to the divine, whatever it is you're asking for. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in and <clears throat> exhale. Excuse me. When you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. 
smile yourself. And then come back. Okay, welcome back everyone. Hello, hello, are you still awake? <laughs> okay, so how was that for you guys? Questions, insights, um, violent reactions perhaps? How was that? Good, so so. Uh, eh. <laughs> yeah, I, so I it was very relaxing. Thank you so much. The, the stretching part was really um, helpful, re really great for, for me personally, because I've been sitting in, in front of the computer almost the whole day. So I really felt that stretch. <laughs> I'm glad. Thank you, Teacher Abby. I'm glad um, it helped you. And I hope you guys remember the poses. It's really just stretching your shoulders, stretching your arms, right? Moving side to side, the twist. And then the, 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 the quattro and the letter L while you're standing. Okay. Uh, I think you'll get a recording of this in case you need it. I'm feeling good, feel better, made me feel more relaxing. That's good. And in, a, in a, just a few minutes, you've received a lot, hopefully. And um, so that you'll continue to practice this. Um, I remind you, I'm asking you to remember what yoga means. The invitation for you is to remember that yoga means union. So for you to weave yoga into your self-care, into your lifestyle every day, every night, you don't have to have a, a yoga mat. You don't have to have um, the full, full blast class. What you need to do is exactly what we did already. Breathe, listen to your body, and make it a practice, a practice of breathing, a practice of listening, a practice of stretching your mind beyond your comfort zone, stretching your heart to maybe create more peace, create more forgiveness, or create more joy, and stretch your body. Okay, so just in case you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And I have meditations, I have mini yoga classes, that I post online, feel free to reach out. Um, I'm on Instagram, The Gratitude Spiral, and Facebook, Sarah Salcedo Rubin. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for taking some time to relax and stretch with me. Namaste. <laughs>